Hello fellow YouTubers and good morning. This is Sarah Serenity, aka Sarah Mrs. Tifa117 here. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but right now I'm going to talk about the prediction on another prediction on Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, I don't know if any of you saw the official the latest trailer for it, but it mentions a traitor among the the Keyblade wielders. Now this goes back to one of my previous videos which was my prediction on KH3 and uh, what I do believe and Tetsuya Nomura pretty much announced this two things one of these two things are, are gonna happen because the whole point of Kingdom Hearts 3 is to bring back Aqua, Terra, Ventus, all of those who have fallen in the Keyblade War. And the and Shion and Roxas. And they're all connected to Sora. Now, what I predict is going to happen is as Tetsuya Nomura said, either Sora is going to die to bring back those who fell into darkness, or he's going to become the new villain in exchange to save the others. Now, everyone has in their stupid minds that, not calling anyone stupid, but Tetsuya Nomura already made it clear that Sora and Kairi will not be together. And if you actually look at the evidence from Kingdom Hearts 1 all the way up to, I guess, the Dream Drop Distance, you can see that it's more so likely going to be Riku that ends up with Kairi. Here's the evidence. In Kingdom Hearts 1, Sora's main focus was to save Riku and Kairi, but it was also to save all the worlds. Riku's main focus was to save Kairi. At the end of the game, when you beat it, and this is a spoiler for anyone who hasn't played the first one. Riku tells Sora to take care of her. Because he loves her. He's willing to go into darkness if it means saving Kairi and not being able to see her again. And actually, if you see in Kingdom Hearts 2, she's actually happier and more shocked to see Riku over Sora. If you see like how she reacts, in truth, yeah, they're bound, but Sora and Kairi are just best friends, that's it. They have a close bond, but that's it. They don't really have like a romantic relationship, but Kairi was begging Riku not to go. And if you actually look, played in Chain of Memories, Dream Drop Distance, and all of that, you can see that Riku is becoming a more playable character as the games go on. Just as I have predicted in the last video, Riku will probably be the new main character because as it said, this is the last Kingdom Hearts 3 is the last generation for Ansem. The Ansem series. Which means that if Sora becomes the new villain, that will embark a new line of a series. And more than likely, over time, Riku and Kairi will begin a romantic relationship. And do I want to see Sora die? No. But personally, I would rather him become the new villain or die rather than have Sokai happening. I really fucking hate Sokai. I don't care how many death threats, death threats I get because I get them on a daily basis anyway because I hate... Kairi with all my heart, and I hate Sokai, and I do not support it. I don't care. 
This is my opinion. This is my prediction. So deal with it. But what I believe will happen is as Sora embarks on New World in Kingdom Hearts 3, more than likely, he's going to have to come to a decision. And more likely, he's going to sacrifice himself to the darkness to save the others. And if you look in Dream Drop Distance, I haven't played the game full on through, but I've already been told a spoiler. Pretty much. Riku passes the mark of mastery, but Sora doesn't. Sora's the one that falls into darkness. And if you remember, in Kingdom Hearts 1, and it shows in Chain of Memories, Riku accepted the darkness in order to save Kairi. He was willing to go as far as, he, as possible if he meant to save her because he loves her. When he said take care of her, he felt... He wasn't worthy of going back to her. Now, put it in like a real life perspective, for example. I'm in a relationship with a man who I truly love deeply. And he fell into like his own little darkness. He felt he wasn't worthy to come back. But he did so anyway. But these are my predictions and my opinions for Kingdom Hearts 3. I really don't know what else to say other than if Sora does become the new villain, it will be more interesting. Because then they're going to go back to their original main idea, which is to put Riku as a main character of the series. Which, in truth, was their original plan from the very start, all the way to the first game. But because they felt Riku was too mature at the time, they created Sora to take that place. But as the games have gone on, for anyone who has played throughout the entire games, I mean, I haven't played Recoded or Birth by Sleep, so those are the only two games I have to leave out. But all the rest, you can see that Riku's becoming a more playable character. There's more of a background to him. There's more of an arc in the storyline to him. So, I'm going with my prediction and saying that, and going with what Tetsuya Nomura said, which is Sora's either going to die or he's going to become the new villain. And if he does become the new villain, that's going to make a new line of the games. A brand new line of games. And if that happens, Riku may have to come to the decision of either sacrificing his friend or trying to save him from the darkness. And I believe later on it's going to show Riku and Kairi having like a relationship kind of like Titus and Yuna or Leon and Riona or Zack and Eric. You know, because they, I can definitely see them being together more so than Sora of Kairi. And I'm also a Yaoi fan, so I'd rather see Sora with Riku over Sora with Kairi. And I'm also supportive of my OC being with Sora, or Sora with Tifa. But anyway, that's my opinions and my predictions for Kingdom Hearts 3 and what is to come, especially for Riku and the fate of Sora. Now, for anyone who's going to MegaCon this year in Florida, I will be there for all four days. And more than likely in the next video, I will give you a preview of what exactly I'm going to be for those four days of Megacon. But until then, leave your comments below, and I will continue on to the next video. Sarah Sereni, out.